welcome back to the channel I know this isn't the best place to start a video <laughs> barreling down an A road at this speed this is gonna be a short one I actually got the idea for this video from the comment section I didn't check who it was who made the comment but you know who you are anyway someone asked me about my gear uh, especially now that it's coming up to winter I was asked what winter gear do I have <laughs> Um, I've, now I've been dreading this question I knew at some point someone was gonna ask me about my gear and I've been dreading this question because most motor bloggers they have really high quality gear and they put links to their gear in the description and they're like yeah check out my gear and you know it's, it's really good gear and everyone wants to buy their gear and yeah it makes sense my gear <laughs> is the opposite well before I get to what gear I have I should start off by saying I'm actually a bit of a squid <laughs> so I don't even really wear gear most of the time I'm a squid I'll admit it um, am I ashamed of being a squid yes am I wrong to be a squid yes but you know we have to accept the reality that I barely wear gear like I always wear my gloves and obviously I have to wear a helmet once I got my gloves on my helmet I'm good um, so because of that, I don't really prioritize buying good quality gear because I know I'm never going to use it anyway or I'm rarely going to use it the only time where I really do use gear is obviously in winter because it's cold, that's it it's not really because of protection or safety which it should be, but the, the honest truth is I wear gear in winter because it's cold uh, I'm going to have to do some filtering stuff now, aren't I? just kick down in a lower gear what was I saying? Because I only wear gear to keep warm, I buy like the cheapest gear I can find. Just something that's kind of well padded and keeps me warm. That's all I care about. So I'm gonna tell you guys what gear I have. And if I can, I'll put links to it. But not, not that you should buy my gear. You shouldn't. <laughs> all of the gear I'm about to tell you that I have is not good. <laughs> and I'll tell you why. Um, but it's just in case you're curious you can check out what I've got um, but I will after I've told you my gear I'll tell you what my plan is <laughs> regarding gear don't worry it's gonna get better for all of you fuming about how bad my gear is don't worry I I, I will do better <laughs> but I'll get to that later yeah I guess I'll start from head to toe where is my exit <laughs> I've forgotten where the exit is <laughs> that I would normally take my helmet so my helmet is a LS2 Challenger now there's a bunch of different LS2 Challengers so uh, the one I have is the FF327 so LS2 Challenger FF327 but yeah that's the helmet again as you can see not an expensive helmet nothing special it's a run of the mill <laughs> cheap LS2 helmet but um that's what I'm currently rocking right now that's what I wear in all the videos and anytime I ride it's the only helmet I have at the moment because I lost my other helmet <laughs> um, so yep that's the helmet this jacket this black jacket you see me wearing every video it's not a motorcycle jacket it's just a waterproof jacket from Primark <laughs> it's just a normal raincoat pretty much um, and I wear it whilst I ride in case it rains because it is a waterproof <laughs> so yeah th this <laughs> This whole time you've never seen me wear a motorcycle jacket, I've just been wearing a waterproof coat. The actual motorcycle jacket, the winter jacket that I have, again it's just a cheap Amazon motorcycle jacket. I think the company is called Pro First. Pro First uh, winter jacket, it's waterproof. Um, again, it's a cheap jacket, but it's not bad, you know, it, it's pretty decent. I've had other jackets and it's no better or worse than any of the other jackets I've had so I'm not gonna hate on it moving on from the motorcycle jacket we'll go down to the trousers and now actually to be honest I always wear the trousers very rarely I don't wear the trousers reason being because the trousers are actually really comfortable to ride in like they're more comfortable than riding in jeans or well I never ride in shorts but <laughs> I would think they're more comfortable than riding in shorts um, yeah it's these uh, again just like the motorcycle jacket it's just a uh, cheap uh, cheap Amazon uh, trousers <laughs> uh, I think the company is called Texped again they're waterproof motorcycle trousers 
these are the only ones I could find that could fit me. <laughs> so that's why they're not the same brand as the Pro First uh, motorcycle jacket. But again, uh, similar thing. They're quite cheap, but they're not that bad. I mean, they, they'll do the job. They keep me warm, especially if you put the inner lining in that it comes with. Yeah, you'll be relatively warm. <laughs> the boots are the only thing that are of somewhat decent quality and they're still on the cheaper side of things. <laughs> but the boots are probably the most quality piece of gear I have. Uh, I don't know if you can see the boots. I'll try to get a shot of them. I don't know if you're seeing this. <laughs> I'm trying to show you. Uh, but they're Daynazy or Daynazy. I don't know how to say it. I'm just going to say Daynazy. That's what I say. Um, they're the Daynazy Freeland G. Um, so they're, I think the G stands for Gore-Tex, so yeah, they're waterproof, they easy boots. And I got them in black, just in case I need to wear them somewhere formal. If I'm going to ride to a formal event, or a meeting, or maybe even work or something. Because they're black, they're all black, they don't look too distracting, they look modest. So that's why I got those boots. And yeah, they're pretty good. But I don't really wear them often, because... Ah, I'm just, I just throw on a pair of trainers and I'm good <laughs> to be honest but obviously if it's raining I would definitely wear these boots or if I'm going to go on a long journey I'll wear the boots and then last but not least are the gloves before you even comment it I know my downshifts this video have been horrendous I'm just I have not been paying attention to them at all I'm just lazily smashing down the <laughs> the shifter <laughs> yeah gloves they are Oro Biker again <laughs> you guessed it they're like the cheapest gloves you'll find on Amazon they're like 30 pounds uh, 30 UK I always say UK pounds British pounds <laughs> um, yeah 30 quid they've got the armor and all that stuff you know but not as much as they could be they're waterproof I'm gonna get to that later <laughs> but yeah they're waterproof and yeah they can work with a touch screen and all of that so yeah there you go those are the gloves that I wear and that's all of my gear I think I've got everything so <laughs> instead of telling you why each bit of gear is so good and why you should buy it <laughs> I'm gonna go through and tell you all the reasons why <laughs> if you're gonna ride often and wear gear often why you shouldn't buy the gear that I have <laughs> probably um, you know what the helmet isn't too bad the helmet isn't is it the helmet's okay it's just a okay helmet it, it's not the worst but it's also it's obviously not the best you know um, it's not the best uh, wind protection in terms of wind buffeting in your helmet in your ears and it's a bit annoying though that being said it's better than my old helmet <laughs> um, that was even worse there's better helmets out there if you're on a budget then fine it's it's perfectly good helmet I mean uh, again as always I'm being a bit nitpicky but I almost stacked that so badly <laughs> um, yeah I'm as always I'm being nitpicky but the helmet's fine uh, if you're on a budget why not get the helmet but if you can get a better helmet then definitely get a better helmet because yeah you'll be happy you did especially if you're gonna ride a lot and commute a lot especially at high speeds yeah get a better helmet but i haven't got a problem with it it's okay the jacket even though it's a cheap amazon jacket it, it's great it, keep, it keeps me warm very warm jacket honestly i've been riding for years and i always get that same cheap jacket <laughs> from amazon and you know what i think only of all the years i've been riding i think like only twice I've been cold whilst wearing that jacket and that's in winter I'm talking in the dead of winter like I ride all the time as I said my only vehicle so I'm always riding whether I want to or not so when it's really cold I'm riding and it's very rare I get cold when I'm wearing that jacket like especially when you've got the inner lining those jackets are really really good they are really good uh, thank you but I'm not gonna overtake the speed camera right there <laughs> Uh, that would be the worst time to overtake someone pro first jackets keep you warm with the inner lining you're even warmer um they're quite comfortable um honestly i have the, i have no complaints about the quality or um how good they are keeping you warm 
in terms of how effective they are in a crash or for protection i don't know i, I can't speak to that because i've never been in that situation um but obviously they're not going to be as good as a high quality jacket in that situation my biggest criticism with those jackets is they just don't last as long as you know a higher quality jacket would you know and a more expensive jacket would last a bit longer the inside wouldn't start to rip out and tear out and and stuff and feel a bit flimsy and the armor starts to feel a little bit softish and bent after a while you wouldn't get all of that with a more expensive jacket but that's the only problem it's just durability they'll last you a good while you know you're good for at least a year i'd say at least a year and that's if you use it regularly as well i would say um but yeah if you want much longer than that <laughs> you're out of luck <laughs> um you're gonna have to get something better i said this is gonna be a short video and i've already rambled on for so long <laughs> and i've upset the dogs sorry dogs sorry puppy look at this I can use the bus lane and everybody else can't and I'm gonna be really immature about it <laughs> well moving on to the trousers I don't actually have to say that much because it's the exact same situation with the jacket the exact same situation it good keeps me warm I can't speak to how good it is in a crash or an accident again high quality trousers would be better but in terms of keeping me warm for the winter these are perfect but the same problem uh they won't last as long now the trousers definitely don't last as long as like high quality uh motorcycle trousers would like the quality i mean the duration on these <laughs> the life <laughs> the lifespan is not very long at all that's the only word of warning when it comes to these trousers but everything else great no problem during commuting time it's a great time to make a video I'm so smart. The biker shoes, biker shoes, biker boots, <laughs> um, the Daneezys, Freeland G's, they're fine. I have nothing to say about them. They're, they're good. I would recommend them. If you're looking for all black, um, something that's a bit sleek and a bit smart looking, you should get them because they're good quality. Um, I've had no issues with them. I would say they scuff easier than I like though. Um, I mean they're biker boots so I don't expect them to stay perfectly clean and <laughs> looking brand new forever but they scuff a bit easy especially at the front but who cares I mean they're biker boots right that's what's meant to happen to them uh, but yeah no other than that again that's just a nitpick good boots uh, now let's get to the gloves <laughs> I saved those for last on purpose because they're the worst thing like do not buy these gloves these Oro biker gloves don't buy them like do not buy them straight up don't buy them first of all they're called winter gloves but they're winter gloves that will only keep you warm when it's light or mild winter when it's really really cold man even the best gloves will struggle to keep your hands warm um but these definitely don't even try like these are just bad man also they're supposed to be waterproof if you're riding in light rain yes they're waterproof or even in moderate rain for a while they're waterproof but if you're riding in heavy rain for more than like 10 minutes <laughs> then it'll <warp. laughs> that's what i'm gonna say now should you be riding in heavy rain anyway probably not so most people aren't it's not gonna be that big of a deal but if you do get caught in heavy rain just know you've got about 10 15 minutes before you you start to feel a little bit of moisture in the gloves and the last problem i have with these gloves is they stink obviously all gloves all gloves after a while when you've been wearing them regularly you know you might need to wash them or let them air out or something because you know inside might get a bit sweaty and a bit smelly but i have never had gloves i've had a bunch of motorcycle gloves i have never had gloves that <laughs> smell like these ones like i haven't even worn them that much like compared to other gloves i well, i had gloves that i'll be honest i'm a bit of a dirty boy <laughs> i've had some gloves that i never washed and they never smell any kind of way they never seem dirty these ones they smell so bad inside and i think the reason is is because they sweat so much and that's a good segue into my next point is that with all of this gear uh, obviously not the helmet and the shoes but with the gloves the jacket and the trousers they're all supposed to be waterproof <laughs> but 
the problem is when you wear them they keep you so warm and you sweat so much when you're wearing them that <laughs> if you're wearing the waterproofs in the rain yeah they kept you dry from the rain but you still get drenched <laughs> during your journey and when you get home you're still drenched because you were sweating so much <laughs> it's like there was no point wearing the waterproof gear because you're still wet either way like you sweat so much in these gear and that's the biggest problem with them i'd say with this cheaper gear is that they're not very breathable you want gear that has airflow air vents now the gear i have they, they are vents and airflow but it's not well designed again they're cheaper so you're not getting that airflow so <laughs> all you're gonna do is be like drenched in sweat because <laughs> there's no airflow your the clothes and your body can't breathe um so that is the biggest downfall with the gloves and the trousers and the jacket you're gonna be drenched unless you it, unless you're in really 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 cold weather then it kind of you know uh, counteracts the heat and the sweat that is inside which i guess that's a good thing if it's really cold but if you're riding it in anything warmer than really cold weather you're gonna be drenched in sweat <laughs> just a warning so yeah that's kind of my review of my gear like every review and like every video i do i explained everything horribly and i apologize for that but you know i did what i could do so i promised you guys that i would do better when it came to my gear uh, so let me explain what i meant by that again as i said i'm a bit of a squid so i never really cared much about gear even during winter i suppose but i guess now that i've got this channel and now that more people are going to be <laughs> asking me about my gear i'm sure i'm going to get more questions as time goes on about my gear and stuff i thought you know what since i've got this channel i should set the example <laughs> and finally get some decent gear so you'll be happy to know uh, especially when it's coming up to this winter i am gonna <laughs> let me not promise but i'm gonna try and remember to invest in some good gear um one because i know i should <laughs> but two just so i can kind of talk about it as well i can tell you what gear i get i review it and let you guys know what i think especially if i think it will be any good before this upcoming winter which means i'd have to do that very soon <laughs> um but i'll try to do it as soon as i can i've noticed in the comment section you guys are you guys know way more about bikes than i do like, i know nothing about bikes compared to you guys a lot of people ask the questions directly to me like what i think about this or what i think about that or even like the person asked me about gear and i'm sure just like some of the other stuff that you guys will know what gear is best you guys will know about gear way more than me so look in the comments because that's where you're going to get the best information i would say uh people in the comments they know more than me <laughs> so look there for some answers ask your questions there and if you are knowledgeable when it comes to bikes and stuff like this then help people out in the comments you know this is the kind of place where we can all learn from each other so check out the comment section and not just because i want engagement in the video i mean that does help as well but no un realistically I, it is nice when people can help each other in the comments so yeah but that's not the end of the video i know i lied at the beginning when i said it was going to be short of course it's not going to be short it's one of my videos my videos are never short you should know this by now <laughs> i also want to just kind of give like an update i'm going to be very 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 busy in the next few months now don't get worried and not that i don't know if anyone actually really cares but um <laughs> i'm still going to try post videos um if you don't see videos as regular though then you will know why but don't think that i'm gone or that i've abandoned you lot i'm still about and i'm still going to try and make videos as often as i am now just know that it, it, it may not be as often <laughs> but please continue to sub if you don't see a video as often as you'd expect to you know i'm not dead or something <laughs> um <laughs> yeah just i was a bit too busy there are more videos coming thank you for watching thank you for liking thank you for subscribing and thank you for being awesome i hope you enjoyed the video and peace